Hi, welcome back to another video. If you're looking for ways to import customer information that are present on external sources into WP Loyalty Plugin, then this video is absolutely the one you're looking for. WP Loyalty Plugin offers you option to import points and customers in WP Loyalty. Let's see how to do that. For accomplishing this particular scenario, let's get into WP Loyalty's dashboard under which we'll be able to see something called the Customers tab. Here is the Customers record present. Okay. So here you can see this import option. So before we get into importing the customer information, let me remind you that using WP Loyalty, you can import three important fields. First, the email address of the customers. There are points earned by them and then referral code. This referral code is optional, which has the customer's referral code basically. So the third one is optional, but email address and points are mandatory for us to import. All right. So before we get into the importing option, let me also remind you that we will have to create the data in a CSV format from a separated value format before we get into importing. Okay. So to create the CSV file, you can make use of spreadsheet programs like Google Sheet, Excel and others that allow you to prepare a sheet and export as a CSV file. All right. So I'm going to show you how to create the CSV file first. For my convenience, I'm going to be using a Google Sheet because it's very easy to use plus it's very convenient for me okay so you can also use google sheet or any other spreadsheet creators that will allow you to create a csv file and export it as a csv file okay so yes i have chosen a google sheet and two important information that are mandatory for us to create is email and points okay so let's create columns for emails and points I have already entered the heading now we will have to enter the information all right so allow me some time while I enter or fill in the details well thank you for allowing me time to fill in the details of my customers here are the email address of my customers and the points that I would like to import now that we have successfully created this spreadsheet we are going to download this as a CSV file before which let me also mention that right now I have only given email address and points in the spreadsheet all right but you can also use a referral code but while importing emails and points referral code will be generated automatically per customer by WP loyalty and hence this is an optional one but if you want it you can go ahead and do it okay but email and points they are mandatory for us in the CSV file while importing so make sure you enter these both information correctly okay nice now that we have finished creating this in a Google sheet let's go ahead and convert this as a CSV file to do this, we will have to go to file and click on download option and you'll be able to see various options. But for this video, especially for importing, we may have to make use of the CSV format. So comma separated values and click on that particular one and you will be able to download the particular sheet as a CSV file. Nice, isn't it? Now that the CSV file is ready for import, let's go ahead and click on the import option and see what that does. Let's go back to the WP Loyalties dashboard and under Customers tab, you'll be able to see your customer records. Here you also find the import option. Here, if you click on import, you'll upload the file that you have recently created and then start with the import process. Let me take you to the sheet and also tell you that these column names such as email points, all of these should be in lower case. Only then the import option or the function will work. If not, the import option might not work so make sure these are in lower cases and then let's move on to the import now i'm going to click on this import button and show you what happens this asks me to choose a file to upload our data so here we're going to choose the csv file that we just downloaded so click on choose file which will take you to your downloads and you can click on that particular csv file you've created which will keep the file ready for import okay nice now before we get into the next process that is the preview phase let's deal with these three options that you see on the screen the first one says update the points when customer already exists from the name we can understand that if we set this particular option to no it means that we ignore updating customers if they are already existing in the system all right but if we choose this to be yes then it means that we want to replace the points value of already existing customers with the value from the CSV which we are going to upload. Okay, so I'm going to leave it for no, but it depends on whatever you need. And the second thing is 
how many records to import per batch so how many customer records you want to import that you can decide here if you click on this drop down you'll be able to increase it i am limiting it to 10 and then the third one says how do you want to update customers points by type so three options to do this one is by adding points subtracting points and overriding points i'm going with overriding points and then click on next okay nice now we are moving to the second phase which is the preview so you will be able to see the total items you have in the csv file and then the field name and then field value all of those here if you click on next you will be able to get to the third phase which is completed you can see that a message that says import customer successfully okay now you can see all the information that we created via the csv file is uploaded here and this is the list of customers that are there on your Tavi loyalty. Nice, isn't it? This is how we go about importing customers and their points into WP loyalty. Now to check all the imported records, you can go to this customers tab and view it and manage it likewise. Well, we are coming to the conclusion of this video and yes, creating a CSV file is very important and it's the first step for importing customers or points into WP loyalty. And as said earlier, I have used Google Sheet to create this particular CSV file because it's a free program plus it's very easy to use. Okay, so even if you have already created a spreadsheet like Excel, etc., I would still recommend using Google Sheet because it's very easy to use. Or otherwise, you can also consider doing it in a different one. Okay, so hope that was helpful and thank you so much for watching.